So you worked with Prince as his personal hairstylist for 28 years. Mm -hmm. And I want to know, what do you think it was about your relationship that allowed it to endure for so long? Um, I, I, I put everything back on God. I really do. Um, I tell everybody that it was the God in me that saw the God in him. And he needed to have someone real around him. Um, there was enough yes men and, and things like that. And that wasn't what I was there for. You know, he saw me as like the girl next door, the home girl, I was mm -hmm. his mama sometimes because I was always bossing him around. So, um, yeah, but, um, you know, I took care of him and made sure he got from A to Z. So, um, I think he needed that around him, you know, because that yeah. was that was missing. So you could maybe talk back every now and then? Every, every now and then, <laughs> every now and then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So obviously Prince's hair changed a lot. Right. And I'm wondering, do you have a favorite hairstyle or a couple favorite hairstyles that come to mind? Um, well, the one most notable, of course, the uh, uh, Super Bowl, um, uh, hair, hairdo. Um, we had just finished his hair. His hair was gorgeous. Um, that's when he kept it cut short. And we had put these beautiful big curls in the top. And so all day we had been outside taking pictures, doing all kind of stuff. And then right before it started, you know, uh, to pour down raining, before it was time for him to come out, he's like, they're not going to make me go outside, are they? I was like, absolutely. This is live, bro. He was like, oh, no. He said, he's like, okay, give me a scarf. And I was like, no, no scarves, no scarves. So I was kept trying to hide everything. That he was trying to find. He's like, what about my hats? I was like, the hats are in the car. So I went to go run for the hat. And But by this time, they had put him on a cart, golf cart and took him over to the stage. Oh, he comes up out of the stage through the elevator and he has a do-rag on. And I'm like, oh, like, where did he get that from? I'm like, no. So that was just crazy. But he had the do-rag on and uh, everybody was like, how did he, you know, do that performance? And he was there an umbrella over the stage? And I was like, no. I said, that man is just magic. I said, he's the only man that, that we know that can dance underwater and not get wet you know <laughs> and I said so he performed that whole uh, Super Bowl performance it was magic and then at the end he just took the do-rag and ripped it off and threw it into the audience and I was like that's show business baby that's show business and so when he came off stage he said how'd I do how'd I do I was like oh you know you was the business I was like come on man you know but you know he always wanted to know like yeah well how was that how was that you know yeah but it was all it was beautiful so that was just a great moment in time for me um the other one was the 1999 mm -hmm. um concert that we did at Paisley Park and uh, he had we had grew it out long. It was beautiful. It had the Auburn highlights in the top, and um, he was like, "Yeah." The next day, I think I'm over it. I was like, "What do you mean you're over it?" He was like, "Cut my hair off." I said, "What?" You know, so I was, we argued for a good five, ten minutes. I was like, "No, you can't cut it, cut, cut this hair off." He was like, "Kim, cut it off. I'm gonna cut it for you." I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> so as sad as I was, I went on and took scissors to it and, and chopped all those beautiful locks off. But um, yeah, he said he only liked it because it looked good playing his guitar. You know know why he mm. made his guitar sing he could make his hair flow so and after the day after that he was over it he was like okay on to the next you know so yeah we were we were on to the next hairstyle so yeah that's what that was new millennium new yes look. absolutely yes <laughs> yes he was ready for change yep what did you think about the afro coming back oh the baby afro i love the big afro not so much really? but yeah yeah <laughs> with the baby afro i love yeah so um he was dating a young lady um andy allo and um she was all natural and so he was like i think i want to go natural I was like, boo, but I knew it was something because he was tender headed and he didn't really like, you know, to get his hair done mm. every day like we always did. So that was convenient for him. So he was like, I can handle this by myself. I was like, boo, boo. So, yeah, but, you know, we still had to keep it colored and conditioned and all that other great stuff. So, sure. yeah, it worked out beautiful. Yeah. So you have some special intel I'm hoping that you can share with us about uh -oh. how Prince <laughs> started wearing light up sneakers. Oh, yep. Yeah, no, but I that y'all gonna have to wait on the book for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that is a story, but that's in the book. I, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, that, so I have a new book coming out, Diamonds and Curls, mm -hmm. and it's going to be uh, 29 years uh, behind uh, the Purple Curtain, so rock, rolling with rock royalty. So I'm excited about that, and in that book will be Love, Life, um, you know, all the stories of he and I traveling together, um, some moments where there were no one but he and I, so mm -hmm. no one would know this story but me. Sure. You know what I mean? So, um 
but I'm excited to talk about the man, the brother, the husband, the dad, the, you know, I'm not going to talk about the rock star because most mm -hmm. fans can tell me about the rock star. So I was, I tell everybody I was never a Prince fan. So that was never my issue. So, um, and I believe that was another reason why I was able to stay around him so long is because I wasn't a fan. So when I seen him, people were like, oh my God, I couldn't have touched his hair. Well, I didn't have that problem. I had a job to do and I had to do what I had to do. So that increase my longevity with him you know yeah. um and he knew that you know and so we did what needed to be done and 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 made it work for him you know and so um that's what the book will be about the loving stories the funny stories um the stories of philanthropy where people never knew mm. that he gave and he gave because he he had such a big heart he was he was just a superhuman when it came to making sure that our communities were well taken care of and um the children were taking music classes and and um you know um computer coding yes, and all that, yeah. that was major for him. So he would always find organizations that he could pour into and that he could help. So it was, it's just a beautiful thing. I'm excited about telling the world about that part of Prince, not, not the Prince that you saw on stage. Everybody knows about that Prince. Right. I want to talk about behind the curtain Prince. I love that. Yeah. When so can we expect that? It's, it'll be soon. I'm, I'm hoping the first of the year, but if not, they can go to my website, kimbeonset.com, and um, K-I-M, the letter B-O-N-S-E-T.com, and they can find the information there. We have a newsletter, and we'll be sending out newsletters on everything Kim Berry, which will be um, the hair product line, the uh, hair... Um, extension line as well as the book that's coming out and, and you know any other tours and stuff that I'm going like now I'm currently on tour with Cat Williams so uh -huh. that will be okay. included you know um, any information on that so just all things Kim Berry so yeah so that's what the website is about the Kim Berry universe absolutely absolutely <laughs> yeah it's always so nice to talk to you oh Kim. bless you thank you it's a pleasure to be here thank you for coming thank you for having <laughs> me I truly appreciate it thank you yeah